Here's one project I'm going to be working on. This one's for a friend in St. Louis. He has these two nice Dynaco amplifiers. The top amplifier is a preamp and the model number is PSA and the bottom one is the power amp. It's a Stereo 70. Here I have taken the cover off of the PSA preamplifier and as you can see it looks to be in really good shape. Here's the Stereo 70. It also looks like it's in really good shape. So the first thing I did was to check all the tubes in both the PSA and the Stereo 70. And here are the results. All the tubes in the PSA preamplifier tested good. Now some of them might be a little noisy. I can't tell with the tube tester. But uh, looking at the circuit, uh, they're not in too much of uh, stress. So they'll probably be all right. However, in the Stereo 70, they all tested good except for the 7199s. Uh, there's two parts to these tubes and one of them showed a leak and the other side showed good. Well, those definitely need to be replaced. The uh, EL34s slash 6CA7s are the output tubes and one of those tested good that was in the lower left corner where it reads 110. It read that and stayed there where all the other ones you can see the readings and the arrow means that it kept going down. So they have been under stress and need to be replaced. The rectifier tube, the 5AR4, tested good. Here's the parts that I've ordered so far from Antique Electronic Supply. You can see there's a couple of caps I didn't order yet. The 50 at 100 volts and 2,000 microfarads at 18 volts. I should be getting this order oh, in just a few days. Besides going through replacing the capacitors, I'm going to go through the wiring diagram and explain how the circuitry works. Some of the circuitry I had not seen quite this way before. I found it very interesting. Thanks for watching.